Hi, everybody, and welcome to my attempt this week at the BBO Weekly Free Instant Tournament, um, where I hope to draw out some lessons for improving players to help them play better, uh, in particular in counting their hand. Um, so this is, of course, Instant Tournaments, Weekly Free Instant Tournament. Yes, and let's look at the history. You all know probably except for your new people that it's match points um and that it's the best hand tournament so nobody has more high card points than me they can have the same but not more and they can have better distribution as me but they still can't have more high card points than me so i'm starting with 15 um a nice 15 singleton as well a nice six card suit well everybody's opening this one spade two spades from partner well, you know, partner might only have three spades, but we're not so worried about that here. They can only have one point in spades. It's only if they've got their points in diamonds that it's a problem. Really, we need to go to four spades here. Um, we might find that, let's say, if it turns out that they've got king, jack of diamonds and jack of spades, then uh, we won't be making full spades, but most hands we will, and it's probably better not to tell the opponents what to do. Right, so they do only have three spades, but it's fine. You'll see that we have one heart loser, one diamond loser, and one club loser. Three of clubs is led. I have heard it said that the robot's not leading fourth highest always anymore so this could be a singleton um, in any event we don't want to rough anything in dummy and you can see that dummy is not shorter in any side suit than us so we don't need to rough anything in dummy um, so with no reason not to draw trumps at worst, we're going to lose a diamond, a club, and a heart. So we're going to make this contract. The only thing to look at is, can we get another trick? Probably not. I mean, hearts can never generate more than the two tricks, and you can never, yeah, you know, you'll always lose the one. Clubs, if they broke three, three, because we've got seven, so they've got six, could generate an extra trick in dummy, which will enable us to throw the four of diamonds. But I expect the robot to uh, crash a diamond long before we can do that. One thing you might think about doing is docking the first club before they know what they have to do, but you do run the risk that this is a singleton and there's a rough. So it's probably best to play low, win this club, draw some trumps. So they could have four, so we might as well take we need entries to dummy as such. So but they you know so we had six in our hand, trumps, three in dummy, that's nine. So they had four, so they've all gone. So we can't avoid this club loser. So let's lose it now and see if they switch to diamonds. And they do. I'm sure they're going to take their ace of hearts at a suitable opportunity. Which is probably now. And now you can see I can win this heart. And I've got the ace of clubs and three trumps. So I'm making 10 tricks. This should be 50%, really. Um, it's difficult to see how anybody bakes more or less or bids more or less. So somebody did manage to make more. So we only got 46.4%. One four spades plus one. What did they do? 
to make more. Next trip. So they had the club. They won it. They played the true trump. Drew another trump. Played the Queen of Hearts. Jack of Hearts. Ace of Hearts was one. Two of Hearts. Jack of Diamonds. You lost the diamond. And in the end, you didn't lose the club, presumably. They gave you a rough and a discard. Right, perhaps that's something I should have tried to see if they, robots would be so foolish. Right. Um, three hearts by East opponents. Well, we've got 15 points. We have a heart stop. We have five spades. This is one of those difficult decisions. You know, four clubs as well. So there are a number of things that are in the game here. We could try three no trumps. This is a big gamble. We've got one heart stop. We just got to hope that we're running um, enough tricks in the other suits, but we're a bit lacking in aces. We could bid three spades, which could be a disaster if West has a chunk of spades. Um, and partner has on minor suits, we could double, which will be a disaster if partner chooses to bid diamonds. So this is what why you should always preemptive bids are a good bid. It you know, can be a good bid because particularly when you're not vulnerable against vulnerable, um, they make life hard for the opponents. And it, Quite often, double is a good bid because partner might pass for penalties. But here, penalty is likely to be inadequate when they're not vulnerable and also because we lack aces, which are crucial. So, you're, we're gambling essentially here. Any one of these three calls could be right. And it may come down to which one is least bad. Well, I'm going to bid three no trumps. And partner's going to bid six no trumps, which is of great comfort. Because three no trumps probably means that, well, it only says 16 to 22 high card points. And I've got 15, so... Maybe we're in with a chance, but we'll have a look see. And they've led diamonds. Excellent. So we've got five club tricks almost certainly. Well, certainly we have nine clubs between us, so they only have four. And we've got ace, king, queen, jack. So that's five clubs. We're going to make two diamonds on this lead, which is six. Two hearts is seven, eight. Um, and we can come to some spades. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. And we can we might lose a trick to the spade king, but we have stops in all the suits. So let's go ahead and win this trick. And let's take a spade finesse. And another spade finesse. So we started with eight spades, five in my hand, three in dummy. So they had five and they were all gone apart from one. So four of them are gone. So if I lay down this ace, the king appears and now I've got plenty of tricks. So I'm going to make plus one. So I can claim the rest of the tricks. It should be a good score. In fact, it's 100%. So I suspect there are some maybe in six spades. Yes, yeah, so the six spades plus one. And three no trumps plus four. So as I say, it was pretty much a gamble which one you did. Um, 
uh, still in second place, which means that the person who bid four spades plus one on that first board, who was Palberg, must have done six spades plus one on this board, I think. No, just six spades then. Six clubs, no. So that's the person we're chasing. And we move on to board three, where we've got 13 points, and not very nice 13. Um, you'd open this one, no trump in Akol. There's but you can see the complete lack of intermediates. Two aces, a king and a queen, and then we're down to a nine and an eight, but then we've got twos, threes, fours. So this is a not very nice hand at all, but we do need to open it one diamond. A weak jump over call, partner doubles to show four hearts. We're a bit stuck here because We've only got three hearts. Partner has four plus, nine plus total points, but they'll be counting shortage. They'll be short in spades because we've got three of them. But we don't have a spade stop, so we can't bid two no trumps here. So one possibility is to pass. They promise seven or six plus, and to hope that we've got enough tricks in the other suits um, to beat two spades. We could bid three diamonds. Which shows four plus diamonds. Could bid three hearts, which does only promise three hearts. But well, the fact is they're vulnerable and we're not. West may have the points in spades, but we've got hope that East has the they, their side has anything like the points. We've got the majority of points. They're vulnerable. If they go one down, that'll be two hundred doubled. That'll be two hundred to us, which will be more than any part score our way. And if we have game on, they're probably going two down, which will be 500, which is more than game. So this is a risk that you would only take at match points, where it's whether you win the hand or not that matters, not the amount. Because if they make two spades doubled, they're going to, you know, they will score a massive amount of points, but it's just one hand. And they'll get 100. We'll get a zero, but that'll go with our 100, which will make 50%. Because if we were playing imps, it would be a massive difference. So I'm going to take a risk and pass. It's said in that in match points, if you don't double people into game occasionally, you're not doubling them enough. And unless they can bring in clubs, unless West has three clubs to the king, we should be able to beat this. Partners led the eight of diamonds, and we can see two, three, four, six, seven. So partner probably got eight, five, doubleton. But we'll find, we'll see what gets played here. Partner may have three diamonds and West may be roughing. But we'll play the queen. There's the nine. Right, so partner probably has a doubleton. The robot would probably have played the nine if we had nine five, but we're not going to play the ace and risk getting it dropped. Um, we hope partners got some hearts, so we don't want them getting roughed. So we're going to get rid of the spade to start with and then hope we can make some heart tricks. Because that's probably our only diamond trick. Let's got rid of that. So and here's the diamond, so they expect to get to dummy somehow. I'm certainly going to put the ace on here. 
they're going to trumpet, I expect. Partner, as we expected, partner has a doubleton. Now they're going to draw trumps. And they're going to hope that they can get to dummies clubs. The trouble is the robots don't signal their length. What I need to know is how many clubs partner has. To, they're throwing them away from dummy, which is a good sign. So I had three spades, partner had three spades. Declarer there had one. So they had six spades there. So I'm just going to throw my diamonds away because they're no use at all. I'm going to wait and see what Declarer does. So they're playing a club. If Declarer's got three to the king, there's it doesn't matter what I do. And they got King Doubleton, they block the clubs. So I'm going to take the ace of clubs, and now I'm going to see how many heart tricks we can take. Remember, Declarer had six spades and one diamond. So that's seven cards. So they have six cards in the rounded suits. Dummy only had one and partner. So now I'm going to lead hearts through Declarer. And partner can make that trick. We need two more now. The ace of hearts is a trick. The nine of hearts will not be a trick. But the king of clubs is. So the gamble paid off. We got 200 for passing that for 100%. Um, other tail, three hearts was going off most of the time, made once. But as I say, at match points, match point scoring, just for those of you who are not so familiar with it, which is what happens in most pairs competitions, what matters is how many people you beat. It doesn't matter by how much you beat them. If you beat them by um, 10 points, that's as much as that doesn't make any difference. You beat them by 100 points, it's just the same number of match points that you get. Whereas if you're playing teams, imp scoring, um, there's a big difference. 10, a difference of 10 is considered no difference at all at imps, you get zero. Difference of 100 is three imps. So they're a big difference. So passing there was a big risk because we risked going minus 790 if they'd made the contract and plus 200 there. But that's, did anybody actually leave it in and there? And they did, sorry, 670. So that was the trouble. You get zero. Passing it is a top or a bottom. Bidding three hearts gets you your average. Um, so, but as I said, if you're not occasionally doubling your opponents into game, you're not doubling them enough. You're letting them off too easily at match points. And you're being stolen. If you don't never double me, I'm going to carry on bidding and going down for my 50s or 100s when you need to be collecting more. Eight, 12, so about 16 count. So this is being open one there trump at every table. Two diamonds is a transfer to hearts. No reason to do anything other than just bid two hearts. Partner bids three no trumps. So partner's got 10 to 11. Yeah, they were a past hand, so they can't have more than 11, but they have enough to bid game, so that's got to be 10 because I might have 15. Um, this very much looks like I want to play in four hearts. Um, I've got a 5 3 heart fit and I've only got a doubleton spade, so I'm going to play in four hearts here. It may be some occasionally three no trumps would be better. And if I was 4 3 3 3, if, I'd, if one of these clubs was a spade, I'd be passing uh, three no trumps. And here we go, the two of diamonds led. So we're going to make, we can make five spade tricks so they don't rough. Hearts, we've got, we're almost certainly having a heart loser unless East has exactly king and another one. 
which case I can finesse the jackal with and I'll play the ace, dropping the king, and then the queen can draw the third round. But if um, they have three to the king, I'm going to lose a trick. And if there's four one, I'm going to lose more tricks because I'm missing the ten and the nine. So this is not a wonderful game. We probably need them, we want them to play spades if we can to give us a chance. Let's see if they led away from the King of Diamonds. I doubt it. I was right to doubt it. Um, I'm in my hand. I don't really want to be, so I'm going to I'm almost always going to lose this diamond trick. I've led the three of spades. We don't expect them to have underled an ace, so we'll see if they've underled the queen. They have not, so we're almost certainly going down in this contract. Right, so our only chance now is King X of Hearts. So we'll need the two. Means the ten, and that's the jack. Well, well, there's a chance. No, so we're still going to lose the king of hearts, and we're going to be one off. No point in knocking it out. We'll just play clubs until they rough. If the robots don't rough early on, they'll probably over rough when I rough here. No. And they just collect the last trick. 28%. So some people either didn't bid it or didn't or did make it. But some people did make full four hearts. So I obviously played to should have played more aggressively to. Still don't see how we're going to make it, but how did they make it? Let's have a quick look. Two of diamonds led, queen, king, ace, play a club to the ace, take your heart finesse, right? Play your ace of hearts, right? Three of diamonds, seven of diamonds, jack of diamonds. They draw a trump. And now they play very nicely play a club rather than a spade. Right. So if you duck the diamond before playing any clubs, they play clubs for you. If you, if you duck a diamond before playing any clubs, they play a spade. If you play the clubs, showing them they don't have any club tricks. They don't play spades. Um, right. Still, We're still in second place, the reasonable percentage. East has opened one spade here. And we've got this very minor suit-oriented hand. We have a perfectly good bid for this. The unusual two no trumps, which shows five five at least in the minors. In this case, it's twelve plus total points forcing because we're vulnerable against not. So we need a good hand to do this. Three spades, so they're just competing. Partners bid four diamonds. They didn't have to bid here. It says three plus diamonds, eleven minus eleven minus points because they passed. But and east has passed. Well, we don't think we're making game here, although we've only got these two losers in the major suits. Um, I think we're going to try and play in four diamonds, but we may find West bidding four spades here. Nope, so we're allowed to play in four diamonds. Um, the partner turns out to have a very suitable hand. So remember, this south hand is now the one, the dummy, the one that opponents can see. This north hand is the one they can't. And just looking at the bidding, east is the one that opened one spade and has led the king. Robots lead the king from ace king. Um, we'll find out. But so the ace king is seven points. Um, they haven't got much, they might have one in diamonds. 
it could have four in hearts. So there's, it's quite likely that they got points in clubs. So the club finesses could work, um, but there's no guarantee. But we do have nine clubs between us, so they only have four. Similarly, we have nine diamonds, so they only have four. Right, the eight of clubs. Why have they switched to a club? Well, they know we've shown clubs in our two no trump bid. I think that um, they're hoping for a rough. So it may be that we have two club losers to go with that spade loser. Let's just see if we have any diamond losers. It's quite possible that East doesn't have any diamonds. Remember, we've got nine, so they've got four. So that's all right. <laughs> they can't be worse than 3-1. So let's draw some trump, more trumps. They are 3-1. East has three, so it makes it even more likely that East has a single had a singleton club. So take the ace. That draws the last of theirs. Um, they were three one, so let's lead a club and see what happens. No, they had two of them. So now the clubs are all good. We've got the ace of hearts. Clubs are all good because we had six, dummy had three, that's nine, and we've seen all their four. So we're actually going to make five diamonds, but that's pretty lucky. So but probably somebody's bid it. We'll just claim. 53%, so that's average, that's what everybody else is doing. Some people bid five diamonds, and of course they make it. Some people played in five clubs, and they went down. So we settled for the average. So the people who played in five clubs obviously just bid clubs rather than two no trumps, presumably back here in the auction. They just overcalled two clubs rather than two no trumps. Um, Presumably they raised four diamonds to five diamonds. It's true, partner didn't have to bid four diamonds. They were showing a reasonable hand, but there's no reason why we should only have one club loser. Um, so, still in second place. Probably still the same person ahead of us. They might be quite a way ahead because there's been some bids. So here we are with a horrible 11 count and three spades now this is quite interesting when we have 11 nobody else is going to have more than 11 so if we pass this hand will probably get passed out and we can you and it's it's a this is not something you can use in proper real bridge um in this position but there is a rule that if you're if it goes three passes round to you um you should add your spades to your number of points. And if it's less than 15, you should pass because the hand with the spades is going to win the auction. Now, here, we're not in fourth in hand after three passes, but we're pretty sure if we pass, the other people are going to pass. So we'll, because of this curious best hand type tournament, we really are in that position. So we could choose to pass. Um, I don't think I'm going to because I've got a five card suit headed by the ace king, even though it's clubs. And the points are pretty evenly divided. So they're pretty close to 2020. And I know they are, and that will help me in the play of the hand. So I'm going to open one club. Wouldn't surprise me if passing it out was not the right thing to do. One spade from partner. So now I'm just going to limit my hand by bidding one no trump. I could have passed, I suppose, since I know partner's hand is limited, but partner may only have four spades. Partner has five. They're attacking diamonds, but... We're okay in the other suit, so we'll see how many diamond tricks they can take.
we have to hope the diamonds are 4-4. Four, four. Maybe this hand has three and this hand has five. I'm going to throw, keep all the clubs because they may all, all be good because I don't think there's too much distribution around. I'm going to... <laughs> well, this hand has turned up with king, queen, jack of diamonds, and this hand's turned up with ace of diamonds. And remember, um, dummy's got six, nine, 11 points, the same as me. So they've got nine, 10 or 11 points each. So I'm going to throw the nine of spades away. And now the two of spades. And they're going to play a heart, which takes the heart finesse from me. Right. So they would, these would probably put on the king if they had it. So this hand looks to have king, queen, jack of diamonds and king of hearts, which is nine points. So that would tend to say that they couldn't have the king of spades. It means the king of spades is offside. So um, I think we're just going to make eight tricks here. One in dummy. So I'm going to play my clubs now. Well, I meant to play the ten of clubs. That was bad. Right. Yeah potentially block the clubs if they were to break 4-1. I didn't expect them to, but I should have done so I could have taken a finesse this time if East had four clubs. But East only had two clubs and therefore West had three. Right, I'm pretty sure that West does not have the King of Spades, but that equally East won't bear the King of Spades. The robots never do that. I'm going to play the Ace of Hearts. And it drops the king, and that East did have the king of hearts, and East was in fact squeezed. They have the king of spades because I can. Ten of hearts now is a winner, and no oh, spade finesse was right all the time. So nine tricks for 150, 786 percent. Presume the other people are doing much the same. One spade plus six if you pass it. Gosh, that's uh, quite something. I did think about possibly passing it. But, um, and we're ranked equal second now. So probably the person who did that um, is now leading. Anyway, two boards to go to try and get us above 70% and get to first place. We got 15 points. Five diamonds, four spades. Well, we'll play by the book and open it a diamond. Two no trumps here is the unusual no trumps, five clubs and five hearts. And three clubs from here, unsurprisingly. Hopefully double here will show four spades. It does, but it shows 16 to 22 points. And I got 15. Well, well, 16 to 22 total points. I got the singleton heart. Um, so I'm going to double and see if partner wants to bid three diamonds. No, partner wants to penalise three clubs, which I'm quite happy about. I've got some nice clubs. Um, me to lead. Well, the robot leads king, nice king. Let's see. 
we've got and we're not making any spade tricks but partner could have bid spades and didn't so here comes a heart all right i could rough this but i don't really want to because i'd just be roughing a loser partner presumably very likely has four hearts to the jack so there were five here one in my hand is six so they have seven between them let's see what will happen if i just dis just discard a spade on this the robot will win with the ace and will then probably play clubs Can I cut them off from dummy? Let's see. If I rough low, lead the king of diamonds, ace of diamonds, they'll now play trumps. Partner must have something in clubs to have passed. Does the robot this one and have they not have anything in diamonds partner was chose not to bid diamonds i think i got to rough and set up start setting up diamonds now Right, so partner in fact had five hearts to the jack. They're going to get back to dummy via a spade rough and then throw a diamond on a heart while I rough. So I think I've got to collect the king of clubs and make the diamond tricks that we can make while I can. We've got to hope that partner has a couple of club tricks by the looks of it. Um, I'm going to play. Cool, looks like partner's got another diamond. The Clara could throw the jack of diamonds if they wanted the entry and lead in dummy. And partner might be roughing diamonds. I could lead a spade, which would mean they'd have to rough in dummy. And then they'd have to. Yeah, I'm going to lead a spade. Now they're going to throw away because they've got the queen, right? Ten of clubs, five, jack, six. This doesn't look good. If I don't have any more. Trumps. There's partner's ace of clubs. This is sure looking like a zero. But partner doesn't does turn up with the queen of clubs. So two hundred was seventy five percent. Another nail biter that these match point doubles tend to be so we could have beaten it by two or three so should what should we have done led trumps to start with i'm not sure by diamonds to start with yeah anyway 
now in third place on our own, despite getting 75%. And this is the last hand. So there's been some, some people with big scores here. East has opened one, no Trump, 15 to 17. And I'm sat here with 17. Well, nobody's vulnerable. If I double, I think they're likely to run to spades. That's the trouble, and I can't double spades. Partners passed. I think I need to. I think doubling, I normally want to double here. I just think they're going to run out away from that and I may not be able to get, I'm going to show my hearts and a minor by bidding two hearts two spades that's where they were running so I'm now going to bid three clubs I want to compete. The partner goes to three hearts. Now, I don't think I can go to four hearts because they're just, you know, there's too many points there with the robot. So I'm going to pass and hope to play in three hearts. And the jack of spades comes and partner has very little and opponents would undoubtedly be making a spade contract. We've got some good chances of um, cashing some clubs. The three hearts is not without its chances. Here comes the diamond switch. That's quite interesting. Um, so if we look at that previous trick, the Jack of Spades was in the West Hand and the Ace and King are in the East Hand. So that's seven of their 15 to 17 points. That's, I don't think they've underled the King and Queen of Diamonds, but I'm going to play low just to see which honour this hand has. That's the Nine of Diamonds. No, sorry, the Queen of Diamonds. We'll play the Nine. Would have won the trick, but I've got the Ace. Right. So we know this hand, well, this hand could have Queen of Diamonds. So partner had four points opposite our, um, what we have, six, nine, six, 15, 17. So that's 21. This hand had a minimum of 15. And therefore, this hand had a maximum of four. Since we are 21, they have 19. There are 40 total points in the pack. And we've already seen the Queen of Diamonds and the Jack of Spades from this hand. So they can have at most one more point. So they could have the Jack of Clubs. Um, but let's check if hearts are 4-0. We have nine hearts, so they have four. They're not, so we're going to draw the trumps. And they turn out to be 2-2, two, two, which is good because it gets us two entries to dummy. Right, so the question is, where is the jack of clubs? I think it's like it's most likely in the east hand. There's only one more point can be in the west hand at most. It's a bit sad the Jack of Hearts wasn't in West, and then we'd have known for sure where the Jack of Clubs was. Well. The king, which will be beaten by the ace. The ace of spades comes out, which we knew about, which I'm going to rough high. 
just to preserve an entry to dummy. For the reason, because if East had, as remember, we had five clubs in our hand, three in dummy, that's eight. They had five. And we've seen two of them. So there are three left. If East has Jack and two others, you're going to need to finesse twice from dummy. So I've preserved two heart entries there now by roughing high. So that's what I was planning to do. Across to dummy there, to lead a club. Of course, this may lose. No. And in fact, remember, we had eight clubs. They had five, and we've seen four of them. So they're all going to fall now. Queen of clubs will get the jack. And uh, the two clubs and a trump are good. So we can claim 10 tricks. She's worth 89%, um, not enough to get us into the winning position. Gets us to second um, behind the guy who did one of the good scores. Um, but that was good. And I think you will see that if we doubled one no trump on this board, I know we're going to get it one no trump down, they're not going to play in one no trump. They're going to play in two spades. And uh, they can set up their diamonds as well as their spades. So they're only going to lose two hearts, one club, one diamond. They, they may even make nine tricks in spades. So we needed to I'll make the contract. Perhaps I should have bid four hearts because I needed a super score. Can you see up the other tables now? Four hearts went one off. Only two of us made, I don't know, four hearts plus one. No, well, that was, and that was the winner. Yeah, so he made four hearts plus one. All right. Okay. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you found some of that useful. Um, please like the video if you did, but particularly subscribe to the channel if you can. Um, the more people who subscribe, the more uh, YouTube gives us an option to people and the more people who will watch it and can learn and perhaps become in, more interested in playing bridge. So, um, and the more people who play bridge, the better for all of us. So please do like and subscribe and I will see you all next week. Thanks for watching.